conference will now be recorded. Hey, hi everyone. So we are coming up with another topic and which is very, very famous or buzzword today. What exactly is SAP BTP? So you will understand, you will get some overview today. Okay. So let's start with a acronym. What does BTP stand for? BTP stands for Business Technology Platform. So it's SAP's own platform where you can install your applications, whether it could be SAP application or non-SAP application, any sort of application can be installed. So when you say an organization, organization can use many softwares, many applications. So it is not necessarily that all applications should be an SAP system or should be from SAP background. There could be now there are many uh, departments might use different applications and all those applications can be now hosted on this platform called as SAP BTP. Okay, so first of all, what is this BTP now? How can we categorize it? So if you talk about earlier SAP systems like ECC or S4 HANA, they were ERP applications, enterprise resource planning, softwares or applications, you can say. In the same way, where exactly the SAP BTP sits? Okay, so it is like a, you might have heard the words software as a service, SAAS, platform as a service, PAAS, and then IAAS, infrastructure as a service. So SAP BTP falls in category called as PAAS, platform as a service. Okay. So to understand better, there is a lot of material on the internet. You can search with what is SAAS, PAAS, and IAAS. So I'll give you a small example so that you get more clarity about that. So let, let us take about first software as a service. So you are using in your day to day life many softwares, right? So from your phone apps, we use a software like internet banking software, it could be, or your cab booking software like uh, Grab or Uber, Ola. You are just using them. You download that software or app, you just use it for your day to day purposes. You are not going to develop in it, you are not going to do any customization in that particular software. So that's what software is called as software as a service. Even you are currently this YouTube channel, YouTube, it's also a software. We are downloading it, you are using it as it is, you are not developing it or you are not customizing it. So that is that's exactly is the software as a service. Now coming to platform as a service, SAP BTP, I told you, is when what are the other major platform as a service companies available in the market are Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, and then we have Microsoft Azure. These are the very famous platforms as a service they are providing. So what all they deal with? So you can check in the internet. There are very good explanations and diagrams explaining all these things. And then infrastructure as a service. Again, the same examples come there, which are the companies acting as an infrastructure as a service, like uh, this Google Cloud, and then Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure. So now the buzzword actually you might have seen in several news, data centers are making the headlines always. So every country is now focusing on data centers. There is lots of data in the world. The data has to be stored. We need data centers now. So these are the companies actually, since they are acting as an infrastructure, as a service platform, as a service, they need huge data centers in every country. So you might have seen in the recent news also, Google has announced a very big data center in Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh in India, which is 
which comes under the Google data, Google Cloud. And Amazon Web Services has already spread across the world, has different data centers worldwide, so which are providing the services like PA, AS platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. So these are the big companies now, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud. So even when we say SAP BTP, when I say it is acting as a platform as a service, it is not SAP's own platform. SAP is still relying on these three companies, like this Amazon Web Services. So when you want to install SAP BTP or you are going for SAP BTP, you have to choose which service, which, which provider you want to take it. Like it, uh, you want to take Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure, you can choose. You have a choice there. And then what exactly, as a security consultant, as a security and GRC consultant, what would be our role in SAP BTP? So in this main BTP, the, the main concept is all about creating the global account for a particular company. One company will have one global account. Under that global account, you need to create several sub accounts. The sub accounts could be an example like environments, whatever the systems you have, all the development environments we will create one sub account for the development, all then one sub account for your UAT or quality systems, and one sub account you can create for production systems. Or it could be based on the different softwares you are using. So one software you want to keep dedicated to one sub account. or you can also use it for geographical purposes. If your business is spread across multiple countries, then the headquarters will be the global account and then sub accounts can act as a, so depending on the type of uh, the company, SAP can suggest you like what kind of sub accounts can be created and all those stuff. So this task of creating global account and sub accounts in some clients it is handled by security grc consultants in most of other clients they are uh, it is also with the basis team is handling these tasks okay so it is not clearly defined who should be doing these tasks and then what else we do what else the tasks are there at the sub account level we have to assign the services so services is nothing but in SAP BTP, SAP is delivering some standard services. So coming to from SAP security and GRC point of view, we have services like IAG, identity access governance, IAS, identity access service, IPS, identity provisioning services. So these are the main services which we'll be using for our security and GRC purposes, which are more related to our area. So the more focus would be on those topics from security consultant point, point of view. So we need to focus on what is SAP IAG, IAS and IPS in, in the BTP platform. Okay. So in the next slide or in the next video, I will talk about more on SAP IAG and SAP GRC, what exactly is the difference between the two and more details about that. So we will also, there is an, we are hearing the news that there is a new version coming up in 2026. So hopefully let's see how it would going to be, whether it will be dedicated a cloud application or will it be still an on-premise application or not. Okay. So thanks everyone. See you all, meet you all in next video again.